I'm going to work on the assumption that you understand my situation, my position with David Moyes and what I want and what I expect to happen come the end of the season. So I'm good, but I'm going to park it there uh, for this one. That's that's for a different... Uh, the last thing I want to do is, after a win, is do another negative video because I feel I've just done so many recently. Uh, there are a few things that I want to discuss, but I, I'm just not going to do it today, so I'm going to enjoy it. It's Easter weekend. I'm going to enjoy the rest of the weekend. Hopefully, uh, you will as well. I'm going to go out and get myself a burger after doing this video. Maybe a burger. Maybe a Chinese. I don't know. I'm going to celebrate a West Ham win, and why not? Not had many, many times to do it. And do you know what? I don't know why, because that was a ter terrible performance. I know, I know I said I'll be positive, but um, you can't sort of ignore what you've just watched. From an attacking point of view, from a passing point of view, it was a terrible performance. From a defensive point of view, it was brilliant. Having seen what I just saw against Newcastle, that's what I wanted to see. Although I didn't, in I didn't know it at the time. When I was watching the game, I wasn't thinking, oh yeah, I'm enjoying this. I wasn't. It was terrible. I couldn't wait for the game to be over and to get the 1-0 win because that is, it's just become that, hasn't it? It's just become getting the three points. As you know, I didn't subscribe to this whole thing about actually, I, I, if, West, if Moyes loses and he loses his job, it's worth losing to Fulham. I didn't think we had the points to play with. We needed three points. And so I'm, I'm just happy to get them. And I actually think now, for the first time in a long time, I, I'm, I'm just going to level with you here. I've, for a little while now, thought we were getting relegated. Um, so it's sort of like a little bit of like a little cloud over me, if you want. Today I, today, I don't think that's the case. I'm not necessarily saying we'll stay up, but I think that could keep us up, that one. Uh, if it really is only two more wins that we need... I think we could, should, hopefully can get them. Um, but, you know, it was a tough, it was a tough one to watch. And it was, when it when it looked like he was playing 4-4-2, and, and it, it sort of was, I was under the impression that we might start to attack a little bit. I sort of thought to myself, maybe David Moyes realised the game's up here. He's spoken about it in his press conference, Moyes, he had. He'd said... Um, this is a must-win game. He'd, he'd alluded to it. This is like the Everton game. This is like the Southampton game. He knew it. So when I saw the 4-4-2, I thought, OK, this is, this is his answer. Because I've often wondered, why doesn't he have more job preservation? Why does he keep trying the same stuff over and over and over? So I thought he'd attack. And actually, <laughs> funny enough, this was the same stuff. It was just the older same stuff rather than the more recent same stuff. Uh, We'll get to, I'll discuss tomorrow what I think it means for the future for David Moyes and particularly in terms of him admitting his signings um, and th with the money he spent, which I don't think bodes particularly well for him. However, on this one, I thought he was going to attack. We didn't. We just defended. Um, that would have been... <sighs> that would have been like a wet dream for David Moyes, what happened today. i, I got to think because it was almost like we nicked a goal against the run of play we then sat back, and then we sat back, and then we sat back some more. And then we wore them down, and they were ground down to such a point where they had no impetus. They almost had no belief. I think we, we defended the belief out of Fulham. Come the end, come the last eight, nine minutes, whatever it was, they, they're gone. They, they had nothing. At the, uh, after Fabianski made that save, they had no belief yet. Yes, I know. I think it was Toysin had the header, but there was no real conviction in that header. There was no direction on it. There was no power on it. There was, there was nothing there. I, I think they'd gone. And so I think at that point, the game opened up and we could have won that 2-0. Um, I think it's, it's, it's a stretch to say we should have won it 2-0 because I think throughout the game, we probably weren't that good. But it depends how you assess it. Well, what, what is good? Were we good at attacking? No. Were we good at dribbling? No. Were we good at passing? No. Were we good at defending? Blinding. Absolutely brilliant at it. And as I said in the review, I think I have to separate what I liked with what worked. Because David Moyes would have every reason to say, well, you might not have liked it, but my tactics worked. David Moyes might turn around and say, my tactics were to nick a goal, to keep it tight for 80 minutes, and then try and counter-attack him in the last 10 minutes. And I would sort of believe him because that's my criticism of him. I can't, that's what I think David Moyes does just because it's worked for him on this occasion. I'm not going to change my tune and say, oh, he doesn't do that. He does. So you may well turn around and say, you might not have liked the tactics, but they did work. I would counter argue and say, they bloody work. This was got put us down the bottom all season. But anyway, they've worked now. And I mean, 
he was talking about in his press conference about, you know, if he just keeps us up, but also we get to a final in Europe, it'll be a good season. Well, we'll, we'll discuss that another time. I'm, I'm not subscribing to that, quite frankly. But I was, I was about to say it was a good victory. I, I, it, it, was, it was an important victory. It was, was so hard to view wave after wave of attack on us. And they looked poor. Fulham looked poor. But it, this is what happens, isn't it? It's like when we beat Forest. That was another one he said was must win. We beat Forest and people said, oh, they were a poor team. And they were. Uh, it's like when we beat Larnaca in the return league. Oh, Larnaca, yeah, we beat Larnaca because they were a poor team. Well, when they were. Southampton, they were atrocious. We beat Southampton, a poor team. Yeah. And today, Fulham looked like... And, and look, it's because maybe Mitrovic isn't there. I don't think he picked his strongest eleven, And the manager was in the stands, by the way. We beat a poor team today. Yes, we did. But that might be enough. I mean, and we are talking scraping through here. That might just be enough, the fact that we can beat the poor teams. Uh, I mean, the interesting one is the last game of the season. I hope we don't take it to that, because that could be nasty. Because that's Leicester, last game of the season. We, we do not want to be doing that. It would be really good to get it done before that. But you get these ups and downs, don't you? I mean, we, we scraped it. We scraped it against Southampton. They attacked and they attacked and they attacked. We scraped it. Got thumped against Newcastle. And now we scraped it against Fulham. Next one, Arsenal. Next league game. <laughs> Highly likely we're going to get thumped again. So we, we're trying to scrape these victories. You know, they're not convincing, none of these. But I do struggle to think that we will be as poor as that in terms of a system not working. Because despite the system not working, and as I say, David Moyes may argue it did work. The system worked perfectly. That was like a well-oiled machine. The, the defenders, the two central vendors, defended so well. And in particular, Rice in front of them, that Fabianski had very, very little to do. David Moyes may all turn around and say, well, you know, well, yeah, that one instinctive save that Fabianski made, you're always going to, your, your keeper's going to have to make a save. That's fine. What I don't want him doing is rushing off his line and try having to make 10 saves in a game. Everything else was comfortable. Um, but that being said, <laughs> it wasn't comfortable to watch. It was really, really difficult to watch. But I'm going to take it. I'm going to take the win. I, I, I am absolutely going to take the win. I don't mean the points. I, I just mean I, I could, I'm going to waste energy, emotional energy, worrying about what we did wrong. I, and Because anything else is, is just more about my enjoyment. I, I didn't enjoy it. But you know what? I, I, I do enjoy the three points. Very much enjoy the three points. And what I'm not going to do is allow myself to be um, depressed about it because David Moyes keeps a job. I, I, I don't. That that will we'll, we'll discuss David Moyes and I'll particularly in terms of the signings and the formation he played and the team he picked. If this is what he's going to do for the rest of the season, we'll discuss that in tomorrow's video. Uh, I was going to say something I look forward to. I might not look forward to it at all. But for now, um, I'm looking at it and I looked at the league table. I looked at some of those other results. I'm not bothered about the Bournemouth. You, you know, if you're tuning regularly, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd never, even when Bournemouth lost last week, I said on this channel, I said, I'd, I'd, I'd probably bounce back and win in the next one. I've not since, I don't know, whenever. Before Christmas, I've not thought Bournemouth were going down. So I don't, almost don't mind them winning because I haven't factored them in for being down. Forest, um, yeah, yeah, Forest are, are there. You know, Southampton, by the time I've uploaded this, the Man City game. The Man City game's probably already kicked off now. By the time I've uploaded it later on, you'll probably be looking at this and thinking, um, you'll, you'll know that. It's, be, it's hard to think that Southampton will beat Man City. But if we're looking at Forest and if we're looking at Southampton, um, then it's one other. And don't get me wrong, I don't think we're loads better than Leicester. I don't think we're loads better than Everton. I think some of those other teams as well. I, I, I don't think so. But there might be enough there. There might be enough stragglers. There might be enough that we can find three that are worse than us. But for today... It's going to say good win. I can't even bring myself to say the words good win. Important win. There you go. We agree on that. Important win. Um, yeah, it's going to be really interesting to see how he plays this for the rest of the season. But you know what? You, you've got to say the players may well have looked miserable in training. The players may well have not been able to pass, may not be able to attack, may not be able to do that. But from a defensive point of view, at least, even if they weren't playing for David Moyes, they were certainly playing for themselves. More importantly, they were playing for the badge. They were playing for West Ham. And if they carry on like that, it might just be enough to keep us up.